what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment we have another trending news for you today and the headline you read emo you destroying ihedioas billboard all right guys before i proceed with today's news please if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there's a red subscribe button below this video just go ahead hit that red subscribe button now click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this all right here are the news in details information reaching af news has it that some youths have taken over the street of Oweri, the emo state capital destroying billboard posters and all signage that is carrying the image of former emeka Iedio and that of the pdp so i'm going to be showing you uh the picture there here are the pictures and of course you guys know that emeka Iedio just lost to Hope with Zodima in a Supreme Court verdict that was delivered on Tuesday. So, and this has been generating a lot of furrow and, you know, um, debates going on in the legal uh, practitioners. You understand? Legal practitioners have been debating as to the authenticity of the Supreme Court judgment. A lot of people are of, of the opinion that the judgment should have been a rerun and not an outright you know, a declaration that Hope Uzodema is a winner because of what a lot of people see to be um, unjust and uh, unjust judgment. Because if you look at the Supreme Court ruling, the Supreme Court actually said that Hope Uzodema was short change of, I think, um, up to 200,000 votes were not allocated to him. You get more than 200,000 votes were not allocated to him. So they had to now allocate those votes to to him okay if they are going by this judgment i think that might also affect ganduje the current governor of of um kano state you understand the same thing should be meted out to ganduje the current governor of kano state because if you look at what actually transpired transpired before cancellation of that result and then PDP went to court. You discovered that PDP was leading before there was an outright cancellation or there was an interference in the coalition process by Ganduje and his deputy state, uh, his deputy governor. So now, but um, this issue of Emeka Yediwa and uh, Hopo Zodima have taken the debate to an all time very high, as a lot of people see that the Supreme Court is not the body. You understand me? That is utterly mandated according to the constitution to declare anybody a winner. What the Supreme Court should have done is order for a rerun and let INE conduct another rerun again. So there are reactions here. So I'm going to read the reaction. Let me show the pictures once again. This is a picture of Emolite destroying Emeka Yuria's posters. You see, to me, I just feel these are paid um, APC. You probably those loyal to Hopo Zadima, or probably um, those people loyal to Ida Okorocha himself, because you know, uh, Emeka area did this Okorocha. He did this Okorocha. He destroyed all of Okorocha's statues and all of that. So this is a payback time, and so it might either be Okorocha's guys or Hopo Zadima's guys that are doing this. I don't think it's a real Imolite because a lot of Imolites are not actually happy with this judgment. They didn't like APC government because of what they suffered in the hands of Rochas or Korocha. But however, they, are, they can't, they don't have a say. They don't actually, um, they don't know what, in fact, there's nothing anybody can do now since the Supreme Court has already given the verdict. So, but um we just hope that with this email will move ahead a maker area will move ahead so i'm going to read some reactions here this is gotten from naira land uh this guy yes is this guy is a child politics another person here says these are not emo youth. Emo you don't display foolishness. Ndi Beribe. So emo state has been held captive again. I weep for my beloved state. Another guy here says, when I look at the action of Nigerian youth, I believe they are even worse than their leaders. What a shame. 
I am a Yoruba, but I strongly believe in the theory of the zoo. Meanwhile, if you are in India, Indianapolis, Indiana, hello me, I can be of help. Another person here says, Kama is a beach. Another one says, now wow. Another guy here says, paid APC thugs. Another comment here says, some congent quote on power. Power corrupt, absolute power corrupt, absolutely. Power is transient. Political power does not rest with those who cast votes. Political power rests with those who count votes. The greatest power is not money power, but political power. Another guy here says, anywhere belly face. Another guy says, that's how they keep wasting state funds on billboard display. Why design our street with billboard when you work perfectly well? As a governor, come senate, you didn't, you didn't need all of this work. Another guy here says, um, emo, emo youth are APC youth. Another guy here says, as a born again Christian who is meant to speak the truth at all times, I commend the Supreme Court leadership of Alaji Atanko Mohammed for this unbiased judgment on Imo State. We Ibos are indeed happy that the failure called Yedio has been deleted into the trash can of irrelevance. Another guy here says, Lol, serves him right. When he was destroying everything Okorocha did, he didn't know Kama is a bitch. Anyway, all of them are the same. Same will also happen to Zadima and cycle will continue. Another guy here says, Emo youth or APC scoundrel. Um, okay. Another guy here says, Maybe they are Dubai youth. So there are a lot of comments here, and uh, time will not permit me to go through all of them. But suffice it to say that a lot of you actually know what actually transpired during um, the week. How uh, Reverend Baker actually prophesied or predicted that Opus Adima was going to take over the government house in Imo State, and it has actually come to pass. Though a lot of people are actually seeing it as it is um, Opus Adima, in fact, from the uh, last video I posted, I discovered from comments, people are saying that Reverend Baka is a political student that he studied political science in school. And again, two people said that he has been attending APC meetings, so he got wind of the judgment that was going to be, and then he had to now prophesy, he make it as a prophecy, you get. So, but I don't actually know if that, that can actually be be verified. I can't, I can't really just say, but there's a possibility to that because if you discover um Reverend Baker have made a failed prophecy last year 2018 that was January and in that prophecy he said that God is angry with Bwari that Bwari shouldn't seek re-election the second time you get it that's what Reverend Baker said that if he's if he does that he's going to fail so Mbaka actually said that it's on newspaper I'm going to post it is right now on the screen so you guys just um uh be the judge i want to drop your comment below let me actually know what you think about this do you think that this judgment that is being meted out is actually fair on the emo light because this is no longer a maker here it is on the emo people who actually voted they are the one that and if actually this is true that um there was a cheat that means even people have been i mean emo light have been short change they have been robbed in the daylight you get but if not we just move ahead this is life we move ahead but however i want you guys to drop your comment below let me know what you actually think about this as for me this is malcolm tv god bless you all